Hey guys, welcome to the Immaculate Conception Catholic Church Altar Service Group YouTube channel. In this channel, you will be getting these liturgical informative videos, and you just have to do, you know, your 100 word summary about what is what the, about the objectives and the content of this video. Remember that it's a 100 word summary, and that is due each Saturday you come in at the first. Uh, starting the first class so let's start today so remember last um last saturday we got this uh, we did this uh class about the sacred vessels and liturgical objects you know uh, and the objective was to identify and explain the sacred vessels and ornaments their function and their description used in the liturgical celebrations so with this remember that liturgical celebrations have their liturgical tools, liturgical objects, like in soccer and sports, you have the ball, you have cones, you have those tools that help make progression in the liturgical, sorry, in the progress of the uh, object, of the objective, you know, and the objective of the church is to make the liturgical celebrations go smooth and in a spiritual, you know, liturgical and a Catholic way. So, First of all, what are liturgical objects? So a liturgical object are the objects used in a liturgical celebration, like the chalice, pathan, purificators, missal, uh, other things you know, maybe uh, you know the, the one of those, I don't know what else you know, purificators, uh, the corporal, remember the corporal, the uh, holy water bucket, um, the holy water container, the sprinkler, all those things are used for liturgical celebrations. And they're used in different times and in different, even in different uh, parts of the Mass or in different parts of the liturgical year. So first of all, we're going to start with the description and the function of each uh, sacred vessels that we use in the Immaculate Conception Catholic Church in, here in Corning. So remember, the corporal is a small white cloth that has a red cross in it. It is placed in the altar where the, recip where the recipients with the body and blood of Christ are going to be placed so that's the corporal it's a uh a if you remember it's a, it's a medium or small large white cloth it is in a square uh it's in a square form and it's where the where the priest puts the recipients of uh, like the chalice the the pathan and everything in that piece of white cloth in the altar during mass uh, the purificator the purificator is a small cloth folded in it one thirds it is used to purify or clean the vessels used in the liturgical celebrations so you have seen with the ministers and with father you know father land of with the priest uh, they use it to clean uh, the the chalices or the patient too you know to purify them because remember that there are particles of or, or the blood of Christ or the body of Christ that stay in the uh, chalice and we don't want that, we want the chalice to be clean for the next celebration. Uh, we have the pathen or pathen, a small plate that is made from the same metal than the chalice. It is where the hosts used in the Holy Mass in the consecration that will be later become in the body and blood of Christ. So remember the pathen is that plate the Father uses. There's the, big, the other plate where they put a lot of um, communion bread, communion hosts for the people, for the community, and the uh, thin, a uh, little bit long, uh, no, the small plate that Father uses for his for the communion host that he will be using for the consecration. And there are the pictures we have. The we are, the pictures are there. Uh, now we have for the sacred vessels continued. Uh, the chalice, the chalice. I think everyone in the church knows what's a chalice. A chalice is a cup made from metal. It is a different. They are in different forms and sizes. It is where the wine and what and water is placed. It will that and it is where it will later become the blood of Christ. So it's where it is. It contains the wine and water that will later become in the blood of Christ. That's a chalice. That's like the main point of the celebration of the liturgy. Uh, the chalice Paul is a small piece that covers the chalice it's in a square form and it covers the chalice so that no strange elements can contaminate the blood of Christ. They say that in the ceiling, ceiling there's something dropping to the floor and it drops to the 
to the chalice and it gets to the blood of Christ or the wine, depends on what time of the mass are. And let's say that it is uh, poison, you know, we didn't know or something else. We don't want to poison people mass, or we don't want that, uh, an accident or that, or let's say a bug or a fly goes into, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So we don't want that. That's why the chalice probably is used to cover uh, the chalice while the consecration. The cruets. The cruets are two small recipients. They have different forms and sizes, and it contains the wine and the water used in the Holy Mass. So you have seen them. Uh, we use for Sunday Mass. We use more. We we put them on both. We put water, but in like in week in weekday masses, we put uh, one with wine and one with water. So here's the pictures. You know you could uh, identify the names of each picture. Now there's a, we have a, this word is a Latin for, it is called Ciborium. Uh, Ciborium is, a, it has the same form of the, of the chalice. The only difference is that it has a lid and it is used to place the consecrated host of the body of Christ in the tabernacle, you know, so that's a Ciborium. So if you see, every time you see Father going to the tabernacle, getting like a, like a chalice-like uh, object, it is called a Ciborium. Uh, the other thing is the lavabo. The lavabo is a Spanish and Latin word, you know, and the lavabo is a jar and a plate where the priest washes his hands before the consecration. Before the consecration. So after consecrating, uh, that's what the lavabo is to wash his hands. Maybe, you know, he touches and he washes, washes his hands with water and. In the old times, you know, when they were going to do a sacrifice, they were going to do something of memorial, something they washed their hands. Uh, so that's what the lavabo is to a jar in the plate where the priest washes his hands before the consecration. Next, we have the holy water container. I think everyone has seen the holy water container. And it is a recipient with the form of a bucket. It contains holy water. Okay, so remember they were asking, you were asking me that, uh, it's holy water, normal water. It is normal water, but it is holy water. Like you have statues, they're holy statues because when they are statues or images or pictures of a saint, and they're holy. So they're holy. Even water is also holy because remember the priest has, after he is ordained as a priest, he has the, let's say for you, the power to make things holy because his hands are holy now after ordination. So holy water is holy after he does a prayer over the over normal water to be to it to it to become holy water but holy water is normal water so that's only my commentary about holy water uh, also the holy water container has the sprinkler it is a utensil in form of a bulb and it is used to sprinkle water to the congregation or other objects so uh, remember, you know, when there's a blessing and there's something, Father uses like a bulb thing to sprinkle the water to the people, to some, to the, to the object he's do, or to the people or the object he's giving a blessing on. So that's what the holy water container and the sprinkler is. So here are the pictures. You know, there's the holy water uh, container, the ciborium, and the lavabo. Now we have. These, I think, are new for you, and they're called the incensary. The incensary is an object in form of a small bucket with a long chain. It is used to place carbons and grains of incense to produce per perfumated smoke. So, you were practicing last Saturday with the incensary. I know it's a little bit hard to make the sound, but... It is used only in funerals and in solemn masses, solemn celebrations. For example, Christmas, Christ the King Day, uh, Easter. Uh, those celebrations are, are feasts uh, in the church or other uh, feasts in the in the in our church in our parish. So that was the that's for the the incense that is used. It is also used for the Blessed Sacrament Exposition all first Fridays of the month. The Father uses it to incense in the Blessed Sacrament. Because remember, incense means the uh, incense indicates that we are adoring something, and when we uh, when we are incensing the altar or or the blessed sacrament, it means that they're God. You know, incense is for God. Uh, the second thing is boat. The boat is not a real boat, like a river boat or a lake boat. It is a boat. It is a small recipient with a spoon. It contains the grains of incense. So those, uh, it's a little container with the grains of incense where it is where we. Um, 
where we uh, put place the ingredients you know to be using it for each celebration uh, now we have the lantern the lectern and the lectern is an element made of different materials is font is is front is inclinated it is used to place a missile in the altar you have seen in the altar there's like a book holder that's for the missile to be put so the father can read the prayers of from the missile more easier and not have to force his vision to be able to look to the words because sometimes it is a little bit hard to be reading and the book to be flat in the altar is, is hard so now we have the liturgical ornaments and those liturgical ornament ornaments are for everyone in church you know those who serve uh, we have priest ornaments we have altar service ornaments bishop ornaments the Pope ornaments, you know, we have different ornaments, but we we are going to be focusing only in the priest ornaments. Um, and the priest ornaments are four, four pieces that we see each day, each Sunday or Saturday in mass. And the first one it is called the alb, and the alb is the white, um, long sleeve, um, an ornament. The father, the, the priest uses in he uses it in the bottom of everything, you know. So that's the all. The second one is like a cincture. It's like a rope uh, put around the waist, and it is called a cincture. The third one is the stole, and the stole is um, a is stole is um, a thing that covers his back from the neck and then goes all the way down, and that's used under the chasuble and number four is the chasuble the chasuble is the big uh, color color uh, between purple green white red and other colors in the liturgical year we that's the chasuble so it's the all the cincture and the stall and the chasuble that priest that uh, that makes the priest ornaments so that's the priest ornaments now we have the books we have Five books that are guided by only one book and the first book is called the Roman Missal I think everyone has seen the Roman Missal in Mass and it contains the parts of the prayers that the priest uses for each Mass so in each Mass uh, there's a special prayer and a special part in the Missal for each day uh, that's a Roman Missal you'll be you, you as an altar server, altar server have to be has to be you have to be very familiar with this book. The second one is the lectionary. And the lectionary contains all of the readings of each day in the liturgical calendar. And the le lectionary, it remembers where all the readings are and where the main, the lectors read uh, the readings. That's the lectionary. In the, our parish, we have four lectionaries: three, two for weekday masses, one for Sunday mass, and the other one is, is called the ritual mass for sacraments. We have the Book of Gospels, and it contains all the Gospels of a Sunday and Feast of the liturgical year. So it, how it, the, name, the name says it is cool, the Book of Gospels. Uh, the fourth one is the Presider's Book. And the Presider's Book is it contains the prayer of the faithful and the announcements. Uh, for our parish, the Presider's Book is a white uh, binder, and it says Father Orlando's announcement and prayer of the faithful. So that's what we use for the priest to guide or say the announcements and, the, and to be guided and so he could be guided by the prayer of faithful the ritual the ritual contains each sacrament liturgical celebration uh, we have a ritual for baptism for uh, weddings for priest ordinations uh, we have for for the sick for funerals you know those are sacraments that each have a ritual or a book with the sacrament liturgical celebration and remember that all of these books are guided by the word of God or more known as the Holy Bible you know the Holy Bible are these books are guided by the Holy Bible we we'll get the prayer from the Holy Bible or inspiring from the Holy Bible so here are the pictures of these books you know the Roman Missal the book of Gospels the rituals the Holy Bible the lectionary and the presidious book is not here but you know how it looks like Okay then, so remember to do your summary and see you next Saturday.